Sir? Sir, can you hear me? There he is. Welcome back, buddy. Who are you? I'm a paramedic. Name's Stryker Fox. Oh, Lois just texted. Burgers or meatballs for dinner? I'll text back for you. Same thing, bitch. Just different shapes. Oh, this is gonna be fun. <laughs> oh, battery died. Stewie, I don't think this is gonna work. We're never gonna raise enough money to pay back Padma's father. Trust me, Brian, there are a billion people here, and almost every one of them has a tapeworm. Yes, excuse me, I have a tapeworm. All right, very good. Lie down on your stomach, this won't hurt a bit. Hey, how are you guys? Oh, you're a lady. And you sound American. How long have you been in there? I originally just came for my junior year, but I fell in love with the place. Oh, hey, Quagmire. Hey, Peter, I just came by to thank you for giving me the kick in the pants I needed to stop feeling sorry for myself and embrace my new life. I farted. As a result, I've rediscovered an old hobby I used to love as a kid, ventriloquism. And I wanted to invite you guys to the opening of my new show at the Quahog Playhouse. Quagmire, we'd be delighted to attend. Wouldn't miss it. Gosh, thanks, Peter. That means a lot. Okay, see you there. Damn it! Why did I even open the door? Ah! Getting excited. Now I gotta go to this thing. Ah, bite me! Laughing already just thinking about it. Only one way to get out of this. No, uh, this mattress was expensive, and I'd like to keep it nice for a little while. Are you serious? We can't do it? For how long? I don't know. Let, let's just keep it new for a few weeks. A few weeks? Oh, come on, you know I'm terrible at waiting for things. We'll be right back with more Laverne and Shirley. But I want it now! <laughs> what am I going to do? I'm going to be in so much trouble when they find out I wrecked Brian's car. They'll probably ship me off to Siberia. This sucks. I hate it here. Shut up. Drink wolf milk and watch Russian cartoons. We now return to popular Russian cartoon Shoe and Shoeless. Shoe and Shoeless. One is meaningless without the other. Peter, you want to go see Disney on ice? God, yes! I'll be right back. I'm gonna go put on my Donald Duck costume. Ready? Lois? 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 Is your wife named Lois, too? No, but I figured if she's banging a guy like you, I got a shot. Lois? Hey, what are you... Lois? 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 Hey, Lois, check out what I found with my metal detector. Are those, are those purple hearts? Yeah, some idiot buried like a hundred of them in this big lawn under these bone cages. Peter, I think you desecrated a military graveyard. Hey, guys, like four Jeeps just drove up onto our front yard. Oh, they must be here for the medals. Maybe. Or it could be because of my I'm gonna barf on the White House blog. But why are you so down? Dad told me I have to lose the championship game on purpose. He what? Peter, get in here right now. Wow, someone's day horny. Oh, hey, Chris. What about all those people outside? They'll see that I deleted it, and it'll all blow over. Trust me. I hope so, but you never know. They're still pretty mad at me down at Dick's Sporting Goods. Um, what's the name of this place? Dick's. <laughs> and, and what's that say on your shirt? Dick's. <laughs> Can I have two balls and a helmet? Hey, you're the guy from the phone. <laughs> Start the car, Chris! Did you get him yet? We got him! Hey, hey Meg, you got something on your shirt. <laughs> Hi, Dad. All right, Rupert. All we have to do is act like Robin Williams, and he'll think we've already changed. Ha <laughs> ha! Scattered stream of references. Lots of energy. One good one for every ten. Ha <laughs> ha! Oh, Stewie, I can't wait for you to meet my best friend. She is so cute. Yeah, she sounds awesome. Oh, my God, yeah. People ask her if she's a model all the time. Here she comes. <laughs> okay, okay, that was an extreme example, but face it, ladies, your best friends are not hot. Peter, you're not even dressed. For what? Chris's class is performing a rock and roll choir. They've been practicing for months. For months or four months? For months. Three months. Not long enough. Pass. I just wish we were doing songs that weren't so hard to sing as a group. 
How was it? Terrible. So there's no organs or glands or anything, right? It's just a liquid? Yeah, yeah, it's just a liquid. Um, I don't know if this is a weird question, but can I have some? All right, fine. Tilt your head back and I'll lean my liquid down into your mouth. Oh, now I don't want it. Uh, you should have seen him when we had dinner with Paul McCartney's ex-wife. He kept playing footsie with her under the table. <laughs> Oh my god, I'm so sorry! Hey, check it out, lemon snow. What? Yeah, that stuff's delicious. Lemon snow? You mean it just falls from the sky like that? You bet, one of nature's treats. You gonna have some? Nah, I'm already full. But you should have some before the other kids get to it. L what is it, like Italian ice? Yeah, exactly, like a sorbet. <laughs> ah, that's not lemon! No, it's not. You bastard! I was having fun playing in the snow, and now you've ruined it like a pizza place ruins a salad! <sighs> I think I'm gonna take a nap. What, here? Yeah, I had a giant mobile put in the sky so I can sleep wherever I want. Ah, <sighs> this is nice. I hope that bear comes around soon. That's sort of my favorite. Oh, look, the bear! The History Channel presents Where in World War II is Waldo? Oh, thank God! Because just sitting here all sober is more boring than watching a pot boil. Hey, you. What are you doing? I like to watch. I want to watch you boil. I can't do it with you watching. Oh, not even if I do this? Don't do that. Oh, God, it's so hot. Oh, yeah? Then why don't I take your top off? Oh, oh, I'm boiling. I'm boiling. Yeah, now I'm going to stick my raw pasta in you. Peter, what's going on in there? Making dinner, babe. Ah, <coughs> oh, sweet. Huh. Wonder what happens if I turn it on and point them at each other. Oh my God! Did you also call into a talk show without turning down your radio first? My word, Brian, you're really improving. We might actually win this thing. Thanks. You know, I just pretend that tennis ball is Mitch McConnell trying to roll back subsidies on the Affordable Care Act, and I'm like, nope. Yeah, I, I don't. I don't need to hear your process. Look, I'm just happy you pushed me, cause now I can't wait for that tournament. I know it's gonna be great, and I already know exactly where I'm gonna put that trophy. So the baby died. Yeah, the baby died. But look, first place. Peter, I need you to take Chris and Meg to school. Today's the day I finally kill that squirrel that's been eating our tomatoes. Try to get, like, eight of them this time. I want to make bruschetta. Oh, can't the kids just walk? You know I like to watch two full movies before I go to work. No, Peter, they can't walk. It's three miles. <sighs> Fine, I'll take them. But you better keep those goggles, because I'm going to put them to good use tonight. <sighs> Once the floor is full of sawdust, we can eat peanuts in here. Ooh, a text. I'm taking care of our problem. We'll be together soon. Love, Gretchen. Huh. Meg, you're kind of a loner psychopath. What does this mean? Oh, this woman is clearly a spurned lover who's planning to kill Mom. Ah, thank you. Yeah! You're a good dog, Meg. Yeah! Hi, are you a straight adult male who likes to eat crepes without people making unwanted assumptions about your private life? Go to discreetcrepe.com, place your order, and within 30 minutes... Very masculine pizza delivery for Stewie Griffin. Oh, thank you. Mmm, strawberry banana Nutella with raspberry drizzle. Now oh, I just need a guy's butt to eat this off of, and I got myself a night. 